Now that we have the king and the queen in mind, let's dive into the technical side of this ancient wonder. How exactly might the hanging gardens have been built? This is where things get really fascinating. Imagine ancient engineers in the heart of Babylon, facing the challenges of an arid landscape with nothing but primitive tools and their ingenuity. The gardens, according to legend, were an extraordinary feat of engineering, involving not just planting, but a complex irrigation system that would have been necessary to keep the lush plants alive in the harsh Mesopotamian climate. Historians and scholars still argue over the specifics of how the gardens were watered. Some say that the plants were watered by a type of mechanical irrigation system, possibly a chain pump, which would have drawn water from the Euphrates River, lifting it up into the terraces. Picture the rhythmic sound of water being drawn up and then cascading down into pools and over the edges of the terraces, creating that signature hanging effect as water trickled down, nourishing the plants. Other scholars suggest that the system might have been a more simple yet ingenious form of gravity-fed irrigation using a network of channels that would have directed the water to the right spots. Either way, the effort to keep such an oasis alive would have been monumental, and yet we have no concrete evidence of such a system. Building the gardens on terraces stacked one upon another would have required some serious architectural prowess. Imagine layers upon layers of earth and stone held together with mortar, creating a step-like structure that would support the weight of trees, shrubs, and flowers. Some ancient descriptions suggest that these terraces rose as high as 75 feet, 23 meters, making it not just a garden, but a vertical oasis, a green haven in the middle of a desert landscape. To achieve this, the ancient builders would have needed to have a deep understanding of weight distribution, materials, and drainage, skills that would put modern-day engineers to the test. 